the anecdotes of the book came from a lot of people I know, which is great. I was able to interview a lot of people. I did a lot of interviews for National Public Radio, and I listened to those tapes again. And I went through a lot of books and stories of stories of stories. One is about this actor, Joseph Jefferson, who was a very early actor. He was in the late 19th century and into the 20th century. And he would travel all over the country by raft, by boat, by uh, horse and buggy. They would go all over to places that had never seen the theater. They were going down a river, and the water was, the river was flowing very slowly. So they hoisted the drops from the sets and made them into sails. And then they decided, well, when the drops were up, we might as well get into costume. So they had this, the drop was of a castle, and they got into costume and had sword fights on the raft going down the river, and the farmers would look and see this castle floating down with uh, people sword fighting. It was very surreal. And another favorite anecdote is uh, Penny Fuller, who's a great actress, was in a show, and uh, she was in The Cherry Orchard, and someone was supposed to come in, the maid, and say that they've sold The Cherry Orchard, and it's a big plot point in the show, and no one came on. One of the extras in the show who played the maid ran in and said, guess what I heard backstage? This cherry orchard has been sold. <laughs> there was a kid in the cast of The Sound of Music as one of the Van Trapp kids, and he had brown hair, hair, and they wanted him to have blonde hair. And they kept telling him, you have to go and see this woman, and she's going to dye your hair blonde. But he didn't want to do it because he thought kids would make fun of him at school. So one day he got a note from the stage manager said, Miss Martin, Mary Martin, wants to see you in her dressing room. So he was really nervous. He thought he was going to be fired. He went in the dressing room and she had rubber gloves on and she dyed his hair. And there's a lot of anecdotes about stunts in the book. And David Merrick is the number one stunt guy. And uh, Anita Gillette was going to take over in Carnival from Anna Marie Alberghetti. Anna Marie Albergetti gave David Merrick a lot of problems, and she went to the hospital, and he sent her plastic flowers because he didn't believe anything was really wrong with her. But anyway, getting back to Anita Gillette, uh, Merrick said, I'm going to make you a big star because he was so pissed off at Anna Marie Albergetti. So they put her name up in lights over the theater and made a big deal. She was on the marquee. You know, she pulled her rope. The cloth came down, and her... The sign was revealed, and it was a great thing. And a few weeks later, David Merrick sent her a bill from the sign company. <laughs>